Okay, um, welcome to my live stream. Um, I am not Bob Ross, um, but um, I hope to be blessed with his power today as I create autumn fantasy along with you lovely fellows and ladies and people um, for reasons having to do with um, legal issues, I will not be showing Bob's face, but instead have opted to dress like him. <clears throat> opted to dress like him. <sighs> Sorry, just nervous. I've never painted before. Um, so I hope you can follow me and be inspired by Bob. I know um, he will be in my heart throughout this time. Um, please. Uh, I will be watching Bob live, episode 24, season one. Uh, if you cannot watch him, just listen to me and uh, let me be your ears and your eyes and your brush. Let's begin. Welcome to Autumn Fantasy. I am not Bob Ross. Um, Shoot, I already said that. All right. Well, um, here we have our colors here. Um, they will come in handy eventually when we paint with them. Um, I realized late last night that I made a mistake and actually accidentally purchased acrylic paint and Bob exclusively paints with oils. So already this is off to a disastrous start. Let us begin. All right. So. Um, Bob says that we need to start by covering our canvas in white paint. Um, I don't have time to do that, so instead I'm starting with a white canvas because you can just buy white canvases, Bob. You don't need to paint them white. Man, I thought I was the amateur. All right, so first we're going to start with a little bit of bright red. All right, and we're just going to mix it in there with our three inch brush. And we're just going to do a little X's. Oh boy. X's like this. Oh god, that is coming in thicker than I expected. Oh shoot. All right, it's okay. Um, his is, he's got a lot more finesse, that's for sure. All right, just keep the X's like X's and O's. Kisses for the ones you love. All right, that's a lot of X's, Bob. Lay on a lot. All right, I'm realizing very quickly that uh, the key to this is a soft hand. That's a little better. Uh, I'm gonna wet my brush. That'll help, hopefully. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, these are. Um, it's important. These are uh, horizontal strokes. There we go. Um, you know, use the resources you have lying around the house to make a painting. Um, there we go. There we go. This one's a little more finesse to it. The Crimson Tide. There we go. That is looking nice. Oh, it's a pop of red like a cherry, like a sweet July cherry pie. Oh, and then you're gonna ooh, uh, uh, switch brushes and you're gonna dip into the Van Dyke Brown and the Dark Sienna. And again, just small X's at the top. Just the lighter, the better. And, and, you know, just as if you're, you're giving, a, giving a baby a, a tiny little pat on the bum. Boop, 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 boop. Like you're patting a little diapered bum. All right, oh, okay, now it's gotta bleed into the red a little bit more, which is a problem because our red isn't really near the brown. So I'm just gonna integrate it. Oh, okay, and then just kind of integrate them. Use a little bit of water, which is a no-no. Water is a no-no for Bob, but well, we're uh, we're dealing with some some supply issues, so water will be part of today's painting. This looks nothing like what he's painting. That's okay. All right, this is good. This is the sky. This is our autumn sky. Oh, okay. Hmm. Reminds me of pumpkin spice lattes and 
cider meal donuts. All right, and just give it a couple, couple other smacks to get it integrated. There we go, beautiful. Oh no! Oh, now you're gonna take a, you're gonna take our knife, and a little bit of green. Oh shoot, green and brown. Mix it. There we go, and until you get a nice paste like a glue we might use for arts and crafts if you're making an, an autumn bulletin board. And then you just wipe it, well I don't want to wipe it on me, so I'll just, all right, then we're gonna gently make a mountain with a knife. Okay, <laughs> easier said than done, Bob. All right, you know, I have worked with knives my whole life for cutting meat and bread, but never have I used a knife to make a mountain. Oh, there's a first for everything. All right, there's a knife mountain. I tell ya, sure makes a sharp peak. I tell ya. All right. And you can really, you know, push into the, the canvas as you draw your mountain. Just, you know, the harder you push, the steeper the mountain. And you know, I like to imagine that I'm creating a trail for hikers to climb on so that they can get up to the tippy top there and see the good views, you know? Oh, mountain climbers. We're making a mountain for you! Oh, all right, all right. Oh, okay, gotta speed up. He's, he's, oh, 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 happy accident, happy accident. All right, so let's say the mountain, the mountain is also down here. There are peaks and valleys. And, um, you know, ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no mountain low enough. Um, so this mountain's definitely got some, uh, some depth to it. Oh shoot, we've moved on, okay. Um, all right, now we're gonna take, oh, a crowd favorite, titanium white, and a knife, another knife, so many knives. All right, um, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, titanium white for these snow-capped mountains. All right, and now um, you, you want to give your hikers a little something they can have a snowball fight in. A little snow-capped mountain. Oh, and just ever so slightly let the snow dance off the knife. You know, the key to a good snow-capped mountain is giving your knife a little wiggle. Ooh, I like to imagine that mine is doing the polka. There we go. And then uh, just even the snow down. Perhaps there's an avalanche happening here. All right. Oh, time for a new knife. Uh, um, all right, I have a fork this time because I only brought two knives. Um, uh, go into your titanium white crowd favorite and a little bit of um, flantho blue, P-H, uh, it's very difficult to spell blue, and mix them. All right, uh, all right, and then get it on the edge of the, f the, the knife, in our case, the fork. Oh, okay. Load, all right, so no. Sun-kissed peaks of the mountain caress the canvas. Oh, look at that. I love the way the canvas just allows me to caress it. Can I caress your canvas? It's always good to get consent before you caress your canvas. Can I caress your canvas? Thank you, canvas. There we go. And just effortlessly, it's as if the sun is shining down from this direction, presumably. You know, the sun is coming in and, and making the whites of the mountains blue like the sky. Just dip into the titanium white a little bit. May I caress you, Canvas? Thank you. It's nice when it feels like it's caressing you back. I don't know, I'm getting a little confident. Down here a little bit. And there we go. And then we're going to bring this down here a little bit. 
Oh, look at that coloring. Look at, look at the dirt and the rocks. You really... Oh, we're making a habitat for moose. All right. Each peak is different and unique like a snowflake. It's as if every snowflake that makes up the snow caps on the mountains is unique like a, a little painting in and of itself. Oh, now we're going to add a little bit of crimson, Elizarian crimson, with a little crap in the mountain, really. All right, I guess they're more red. Okay. I've never really seen a part of the Blue Ridge Mountains, but the, I don't know about the red. All right, Bob, all right. Just a little bit of red. You know, to show the pain that is associated. Oh, and just give it a little, give it a little, a little blend. There we go. That's a, the way God intended. Oh, and just add a little touch of the white. Yeah, all right, and just, yeah. So beautiful. These are... Look at that. Oh, okay. I'm ready to hike it already. Just the most, just a little tap, 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 as if you're, you're tap, tap, tapping on heaven's door. I like to imagine that my fingers are tap shoes. And just do a little T for two and two for T and T for two and two for T. Oh, and my favorite part, let's beat the devil out of the brush. I don't want to ruin the easel because I borrowed it from a friend, so. All right, let's, oh. All right, now we're gonna get, okay, all right. A fan brush, which is mostly just a brush that I neglected to take care of. Um, all right, and we're gonna get into our darks. Sienna and Van Dyke Brown, which seem to have come together. And we're going to make our first happy tree. All right. I don't know. Let's see. Da, 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 da. And, just, da, 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 da. and just drag it and let it like a little worm. Go pull and like a little worm. And then there's a little worm in the hole and then it wriggles out. And see the hole, the worm in the hole and it let it wriggle out. Worm in the hole and wriggle out. Worm in the hole and wriggle out. It's the worm method. All right, we've got one tree, but there should be many more in the forest. Hope we get some green in here, because this is a, this is a pretty uh, abstract forest, if you ask me, Bob. Oh, he's really ahead of me. All right. Let's add some more trees. Uh, trees. Uh, happy accident! A tree! I meant to do that. And it's important, Bob says, don't try to copy his painting. I don't think we have to worry about that. Trees. Trees make me think of my childhood when we used to go out as a family and buy a Christmas tree on the streets of New York. Somehow we always managed to get into a fight. So we'd have this beautiful Christmas tree and then my mom and dad and I would be walking home and my mom would be yelling at my dad and my dad would be yelling at me and it was, that's what I think of when I think of trees. All right, for every tree there's a, an argument. All right, oh, oh, now we've got to take these. All right, oh, hold on. Oh, one more, one more. There we go. And now we got to add the reflection of the trees in the, w in the water. I didn't know there was water. Just give it a little. Oh, crap, he's dipped into green. All right, get the green in there. Thank God, some green. Finally painting a whole nature scape and haven't dipped into green once yet. All right, and just add a little. Oh, it's, it's. We're having some uh, viscosity issues. Oh, there we go. 
Yep, oh, we've moved to a smaller brush now. Hold on, I gotta get some more green. Oh, crap. Oh. Mm. Okay, just a little bit of green. Okay, just, this is a runny green. Just, just dot it in kind of like a stubble, like stubble on daddy's beard. Right. This is a noisy canvas. I'm sorry, I should have gotten a quieter one. I opted for what was cheap, or in this case, free. Just little leaves sit there like patient little nuns waiting to pray. Oh, okay. Make, add some green to my happy accident tree. Okay, dot it in the, the green. Incredible. All right, oh, oh, knife time again, knife. Time for the knife. And, uh, oh, I see, we gotta, now it's important to, um, to add the reflection of the trees in the water. So we're just gonna, um, uh, okay. Um, when will my reflection show who I am inside? All right. Ever so carefully. There we go. Oh, and now you're gonna oh, tilt the knife all right. Just saw it back and forth like you're like you're sawing into a, a piece of stubborn stale bread. Don't don't saw too hard, you might get a hole in the canvas. Alright. Oh, oh, he's added a Lest we forget this is an autumn fantasy, so these trees are far too healthy. We need to, to kill them off quick. Speed them through the life cycle of nature. I haven't used any of my Indian yellow or yellow ochre. Now seems like the perfect time. Got to catch up to Bob. Just add, add a little bit of dead leaves in there because you can't have life without death. Life is, a, life is a beautiful cycle that eventually ends in death, but you appreciate life more knowing that trees die. Let's say. Oh, oh, all right. Well, this is an intermission. Bob is now showing us his pet squirrel. Um, so, all right, I will take this moment to show you um, this llama Christmas tree ornament that my father got me um, in Peru. I don't have a squirrel, but um, this is this will this will have to do. Um, um, hello. Oh, do you like my painting? You, oh, he, you, you do think this looks like a pretty ghastly sight of nature. Well, we've got to be patient and let Bob show us how to make it, how to make it look more natural. Oh, sometimes on mornings I like to feed you some oatmeal and we sit together and watch the, the fire crackle and eat oatmeal together. Oh, he's done with his squirrel. All right. That was just a waste of time. I really didn't want to have to bring my llama into it, but Bob did it, so I had to. All right, um, back to the brown. My God, this is such a dismal nature scene, Bob. All oh, right. I guess you, it's all about the, uh, they say true artists work in negative space. This is all about the, the lack of color, the, the dark negative colors to bring out the brightness. Okay, just, he's making more brown globs. Uh, all right, wow. I, I frankly think he's ruining it, but. <sighs> all right. Uh, just a lot of brown, Bob. I'll tell you, Picasso had his blue stage. Bob Ross definitely went through his brown stage. I'll tell you, this is a brown period for Bob Ross. All right. All right. Let me just get the brown spots in there for Lord knows what reason. All right, and get it into the ocean, or excuse me, the lake, pond, ravine. Okay, a couple of evergreen trees are coming. Time for a... Uh, 
let's use the brush we haven't used. All right, this is a black tree because Lord knows Bob can't see green. All right, just a, a dark, dark tree, Bob. I will, yeah, this is making me stop and wonder. Okay, just a black tree. black tree in the middle of the valley. Just bring it down like a worm and let it wriggle out. See the worm and let it wriggle out. Okay, I bet there are some squirrels and llamas that live in this tree. There we go. There we go. Bob likes his dark tree. Oh, now you... Time for the knife. All right, back to the knife. All right, and just bring your trunk down like this and find the center of the tree and bring it down. Oh, that was a, that's a beautiful line. Okay, just like a, a nice. Okay, and down into the water again. It's polluting the water with the black trees. Just a little. Oh, look at that brush pattern. Just kind of dot it. All right, and get some yellow in there. Oh, and I'll mix the green and the yellow, and we haven't used any yellow ochre yet, so now would probably be a great time to use that. And now we're going to add some bushes in the trees. This makes no sense, but gotta follow the man, you know? All right, some bushes that live up in the trees. It's all about perspective. I certainly lost all my perspective a couple of days ago. Oh, a little bit of, oh, I need more white. Oh, knife. Uh, uh. Load your fan brush, oh, oh. Uh. Uh, I'm just gonna, oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait, um, shoot, um, and another, another black tree, oh, oh, there we go, oh, bring it down all the way, oh, shoo. Can you decide where these trees live? You know, wherever you see darkness, add a tree. But in this case, the tree will just add to the darkness because all of these trees are black. All right, and just up. Gotta make, <coughs> Bob says you gotta make the noises to make it work. All right, this is Oh, I'll just bring some more. I'm going to bring in some Van Dyke and Dark Sienna into the black because Lord knows we can't use any green on these trees. And it's time for a little tap dance again. So a little. So, tap, 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 tap. The Avenue, I'm taking you to 42nd Street. Singing in the rain. There we go. Um, okay. And now dip back into your black. Um, oh, so much lack of color. I don't know how to use this much black. I just would have bought bottles on bottles of black. I haven't even. It's been at least seven minutes since I last dipped into the green. Alright. You know, and maybe there's a little. Ah, screw it. There's a little owl living in this tree. A golden owl. Golden owls come out to foretell sunset. It's the golden owl. It's a golden owl. Make it say. I could say who. Yeah, 
owl saying who? Okay. Green, finally, time for green. I waited my whole life. Like I feel like I'm in hibernation, waiting all painting for, to see green again. All right, go in and just dust the leaves. Watch out, little owl. Oh, oh, more green. Never thought I'd see the day when it was time for more green. Oh, crap. No. No. Okay, and then bring the reflection less. There we go. Oh, wow, okay. There we go. All right. Um, and uh, I don't... Uh, uh, I've gone rogue and I feel bad about it. Bob doesn't have an owl in his painting. Um, uh, I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, wow, that actually improved it incredibly. Oh. Just a little, a little knife action, fork in this case, because I'm out of knives. Just a little tree dancing in the breeze. Oh, oh, squirrels live in here. Maybe I'll make a little habitat for the llamas too. You can't neglect them. Okay. All right, little llama, you're going to live here in this little house. Knock, knock. That'll be yours eventually. Okay, now we add a little red. Oh, dear, that almost fell off. Ah, so much red. One bush at a time, just like a... One piece of toilet paper at a time, one bush at a time. Life is, is fragile, you know. We've got to um, use everything one at a time, appreciate everything one at a time, you know. There may not be more after it, so, you know, if you see a leaf, Appreciate it, because, you know, somebody, somebody put it there, God or Bob or me. Or appreciate every leaf for what it is, you know. There we go. Now we have a, according to Bob, this is our finished painting. Um, I'd like to, God bless you, or... Um, God bless my friends and you, and um, I am actually an atheist, but um, I hope you enjoy your painting and um, I hope yours comes out half as good as mine, uh, probably at least seven times better. Um, thank you so much. I hope you have an autumn fantasy life. Okay, how do I stop this? All right, are we done?